I think one of those characters nobody expected to actually get their own entire story mode is going to be Trunks. And uh, I know a lot of people seem to be having trouble unlocking all of his different what ifs. So as always, I'm going to tell you how to do that today. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into it. All right, first things first, I want to just point out the fact that Future Trunks got slightly shafted here and the fact that we're starting in the Goku Black Future Trunks. We're doing Super Trunks instead of the Z Trunks is where we should have started this whole entire story. Wouldn't have been mad at that. I think that would have been super cool. Maybe a what if where Future Gohan lived would have been super freaking awesome. Fortunately, we didn't get that. Um, so with that being said though, let's go into this. All right, let's go. So we're going straight into the future saga and then boom. All right, here we are. We're down to Twisted World where you have wear down Zamasu or wear, wear down your opponent given time. Super easy what if to do. Fun what if for sure. This what if, if not mistaken. It has a, it has quite a few different it has a quite a few different episodes so take care of it it's a fun little what if overall the whole entire story this one isn't just a blurb it's an actual whole entire story but you just have to wear him down in a given time I think it takes I think it's two or three minutes you have to wear him down you have to wear him down pretty quickly so for, for definitely a fun one all right we go here 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 all right and this is the big what if this is the what if for trunks what if that actually matters the one that where you can after everything's all taken care of, you've beaten Zamasu in the cannon, everything's done with, Future Trunks just travel back with them to the present, and at the option to stay in the present or go back to the past. Go back to the past is the typical cannon option. Now, this, uh, if you do happen to stay in the present, uh, we'll be going into that because there are some what ifs in this one. Um, so, but. But the canon option to be able to actually complete the story is to go back to the past. You do have to pick it in order to get the golden dragon ball. A lot of people are the golden dragon. A lot of people have been asking about that in past videos. To get the golden dragon, you still have to get the canon finish. It's not all about unlocking all the what ifs. You still have to get the actual real finish. Finish that gives you the credits. You have to take care of that. All right. But if you stay in the present, now this is where I am going to spoil you. If you haven't already been spoiled or you don't know about this, this is a spoiler alert. I'll give you a minute to leave if you want. But if you stay in the present, you end up becoming part of the Tournament of Power. Now, this is where things get really freaking difficult and really aggravating as this particular one right here. So to become the strongest in the universe, you must wear down your opponent within a given time. So what you have to do is you have to fight Vegeta, Piccolo, and Gohan. Okay, You don't have to beat them. You have to make them switch out, which they switch out at three health bars of them. They can... Or I think it's three and a half. Something like that. But pretty much you have to spam sparking, get your ult, hit them with it, and then they'll switch out. It happens every time. But you have to do it very quickly. Otherwise, you're going to continue to repeat this mission over, over, and over, and over. Which is super annoying and aggravating. 100%. Probably one I spent around 30 minutes on. Because of how much time it just takes to get that done and get it taken care of and i know that may not seem like a lot especially considering like the jiren ones i spent a couple hours on trying to finish this one is still aggravating hands down not the most aggravating i will there, there's one that's coming up in a video that is probably my favorite one the way to get it is aggravating and i have known but this is this is this is a fun one just you gotta take down you gotta take all three of them down pretty quick all right but then we keep going because there's still more what ifs to the what if, which is different. They usually don't do that type of thing. So we go here. Boom. All right. So you have the option here. This one actually gives you a choice. You can go with Vegeta, get a whole different ending, get a whole different everything. <clears throat> or you can go with Gohan. Going with Gohan also does the same thing. He gives you a whole different ending. He gives you a whole different process of everything. And what, what, uh, what Trunks is actually doing here, he's replacing Frieza, by the way. If you didn't know that, he's replacing Frieza as someone to work with throughout most of the story. Pretty much where you thought you would see Frieza at, you're actually seeing Gohan at. So they don't ever, or you're actually seeing Trunks at, not Gohan. So you're actually seeing Trunks at it instead of Frieza, which is, makes for the story to be a whole lot more interesting because you have, a, in my opinion, more power. I personally think stronger than Golden Frieza. Me, could be wrong there, but I personally think he is. But you, you have the choice here. This isn't one of those like, but how do I get that? No, this one gives you the choice, the option picker. So overall, easy one to do. Take care of it. You go with Vegeta, you go with Go. Take care of it. But I cannot stress enough, 
make sure you just quickly spam sparking on this get this one taken care of but can't stress enough to get the golden dragon oh the dragon just to put it out so if you look above my head here straight up you will see that golden dragon that little shiny thing that tells you you've completed everything in the story to get that the golden dragon for map here you have to all right we you have to go to this particular mission and pick the other option. You have to pick the cannon event. Otherwise, you will not get the golden dragon because you haven't the actual gotten the credits. So make sure you do that to get the golden dragon. But obviously, stay in the present. Get this awesome little timeline where tournament power. And I think it's freaking awesome. Um, but the, like I said, this is probably the hardest thing on all of Trunks's to do is this particular mission because it just takes some like repetitive stuff of just figuring out their patterns and taking them down very quickly. There's some really cool dialogue in there as well between all of them. So take care of it. Don't take care of it. It's up to you. But I think the, I think it's probably one of the best things. As always, I thank you all so much for watching. Y'all tell me what you think overall is your favorite. I'm personally wasn't a big fan of future trunks as i think there's other things they could have done especially with the future trunks that they chose not to do which is a little upsetting but i get it like i just think it's cool to go into Z, then flash forward all the way to super but you know limited time limited spacing so it is what it is but as always i thank you all so much make sure you do like comment subscribe hug someone you love y'all in the video peace